when effectively communicating a message with any avenue, writing, speech, even visual arts, there are two things in general that you can use with that communication. You can make it a message that is meant to be understood by everyone or just a select few, like a subliminal message, a sub, a passive aggressive insult, or a passive message. That's a good way of describing it. I'm sure there's a better description, but since I'm just making heuristics out of my ass, there's active messages and passive messages. Nowadays, I see things like a logo on a t-shirt or something like that that basically doesn't mean anything and it effectively works as neither an active nor a passive message. Think about Andy Warhol and his classic uh, art piece where he just put a bunch of Campbell soups in different color palettes. And that was supposed to be artistic. Because it blurred the lines on what is and what isn't art. I want to take that another step forward with how people wear clothes that really don't communicate any message, but they try to communicate. Like, sometimes I'll see people wearing a shirt for a rock band that they don't even know exists, and it's meant to be a shirt not for the fans, but for the people sporting it, even though they don't know that it's a rock band, and it's meant to be seen by people that don't know that that's a rock band. Like, I saw a couple people with shirts for the Ramones, and it wasn't written in a Ramones-friendly font. It wasn't written so that you could know that's what it was about. It was written so that you could basically wear the logo, you can wear that symbol, but at the same time, it's totally postmodern. The symbols are irrelevant. They're just there to be there. Egalitarianism of the message. This is flatness. And I'm not a fan of that. That's not effective communicating. And the reason I'm saying this is because I'm typically seen as a person who doesn't or whom doesn't communicate the proper message. I ramble. I rant. What did you expect? I'm the type of person that either gives one-worded answers to everything or has stacks and stacks and stacks of things to say and no proper structuring for a person of a certain IQ range. That's the nature of it all. But at least I make a consistent effort to say something that has a message that's active, that anyone can pick up if they do the proper research, and it's basically there for you to understand it. Or, you know, if it's not going to be active, it's going to be passive. It's going to be the little jabs and insults I do to each and every person. And they exist anywhere. Lots of people make passive-aggressive insults, subliminal advertisements, and things of this nature, but I am disgusted by people that say things just to say things. The guys that have Tupac quotes, the females actually have Tupac quotes, and they don't even know that they're Tupac quotes, so much so that wearing it 
is a symbol of nothing rather than a symbol of, let's say, whatever message Tupac had, like the thug life stuff. Or Biggie with fuck bitches get money. Some people forgot that was actually a Biggie quote and serve a message that just serves to mean nothing to make the other person look interesting because they can carry a message that essentially means nothing but make it look presentable. This is Mr. Walker 7 and y'all can think about that. Think about it.